the Deputy Minister addressed education stakeholders in the Irongo region, who convened at Swakopmund to develop a plan following the dismal 2022 academic results. Natalia Huachuses informed the gathering that she used to be an underqualified teacher in the 80s and still managed to transform a poor performing school in Bintuk. There were classrooms, governor, storerooms packed with old book, colonial time books, but I could not have space to take my children that were the slow learners through. Character, a teacher of character that I am. I had to use my kids. It was not a child labor. Myself in our own. And we had to make space. And I'm sure in most of our schools, we have those rooms that are packed with unused, unnecessary equipment that can come to the regional office and can be taken to auctions and so on. Huajo says called on teachers to make sacrifices, as she did, for the academic improvement plan to work. We shall have to declare ourselves during this revival year extraordinary school leaders and school teachers. Not, not just a principal. We cannot just be ordinary principals and ordinary teachers and ordinary HODs. We shall transform ourselves to become extraordinary in the teaching fraternity. We don't sleep at o'clock, seven o'clock were the times that I reached my house. I did not sleep. In fact, I lost. Those are the sacrifices I've made for my nation and for my education sector. I lost my family because those were the years also, I was young, I was also giving uh, children their new husband, what, 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 what. But my commitment, I decided to devote because I have taken the profession as a noble thing. And I have said, my children, you are only 4 3. I've got the nation. I have 33, 40, whatever, 120 people, life that I have to transform.